everyone. So today we're gonna come say hi to my llama. My husband just caught her and she's never really that happy about that. But let's get some close up shots and see how she's doing. What's up, Shanti? Hi. Hi, are you gonna spit on me? Your ears are back. Whenever her ears are back, it makes me a little nervous she's gonna spit on me. She's really wet. We just hosed her down on this hot day. Yeah, so she didn't get shaved this year. We're gonna shave her next year. You don't shave a llama every year like sheep. You do, um, you know, one year on, one year off. And, uh, you know, llamas are from South America and they're pack animals, so that means that they were used to move and transport goods up and down trails in the Andes where there was lots of snow. So all of this um, wool was for a reason, but here in Butte County, she doesn't really need it and we're not making her carry stuff anywhere. So she's pretty much just out here to protect the pigs and keep them safe because um, she can scare away small predators and she makes noises if any big predators came out here. So it's good to have her around. Plus she's really cool and I like her. Okay, there's Barry trying to see what's going on here. He wants to be out here with us. And my husband's gonna hose her down on the other side. So this is a fun, fun farm task to do. Hosing down our llama. Do you guys have any pets at home you've been bathing or Maybe you hose down your dog to keep them cool in the hot summer. Our dogs, one of our dogs loves to go swimming, but these little dogs here do not like to go swimming, huh, Barry? What's up, Barry? Yeah, you're not a big fan of the water, huh? They're wondering why they can't be out here with us. Because there's a fence and we don't want the llama to kick or hit them or step on them. I've actually had Hannah stepped on by the llama once, just her foot, and it really scared me. So they're not allowed to come out here. They get to stay right here. And look at our Shanti. Look at her. She looks nice and cool. Yeah. Trying to spray out all the dirt. Yeah. And so we really didn't know anything about llamas when we got her. We just started reading up on it. But, um, you know, llamas are a lot like sheep where they eat grass and we feed them, we feed her the same food that we feed the sheep and um, her toenails need trimmed once a year. So next year when she gets a haircut, we'll have her nails trimmed as well. Oh, we did? Yeah. The man came in. Oh, and she, cool. She threw a big fit about it. She was super dramatic. Really? Yeah. Did he have to tie her up? He tied her up to a post and she threw herself on the ground. Oh, funny. I wish I had seen that. Next time. How much funny is we thought she was going to choke herself? Oh, really? It was like that? Yeah. Oh, boy. I had to physically pick her up. Jeez. Yeah. Well, she doesn't like to get her nails trimmed. Oh. Yeah. She looks kind of funny when she's all wet. She looks smaller. Maybe I should go get some dish soap. We can, uh... Give her a full on bath. Yeah. I think just the hosing down will be enough. Yeah. Well, that's why she walked up here, because she wanted to get wet. All right, well, I'm glad that you got to see Shanti getting a bath. And um, please leave a comment if you had any questions or if you enjoyed the video. And uh, stay tuned for more animal videos.